Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Black Sheep Mining's first map for Farming Simulator 22, the Old Stream Farm. This is the fourth iteration of this map with massive improvements year after year. The first version was actually released in Farming Simulator 15 for PC only, but has been released for all platforms in 17, 19, and now 22. The map is based off of a farm from the 1970s and is located in a fictional European countryside with small roads all over that take you into the town of Dorfbank and Grunwald. On the main farm, you're going to be finding cows, chickens, pigs, and sheep, along with the sleep trigger inside an actual house, which is super cool, as well as a silo and a workshop area. For console players, the map starts at 1,066 slots used up in new farmer mode, but can be taken down to 914 if you sell off all the buildings and equipment. If you're looking for sell points, there's no shortage, as this map offers 17 different sell points for your goods, which includes a BG a train and nine production factories on the map each needing to be purchased to be used as a production factory so just like the base game maps this includes bakery dairy tailor shop spinnery grape processing unit sugar mill you've also got a sawmill carpentry and the grain mill Additionally, you will need to purchase the BGA. However, it does not show up on the main map until you actually purchase it. There's a total of 60 different workable fields that can be purchased, all of which are purchased separately from each other with many other purchasable areas for logging or creating your own farms or fields, whatever you want to do. If I counted right, there's 11 of those other areas around the map. In New Farmer, you do start off with the main farm, which is shown right here, and that's going to include field number one. And if we go north of that, you also have field number two you've also got a couple uh big areas i say a couple big areas you got one massive area around the map which includes the old stream farm itself and you've got a lot of cell points in here as well there is so much more than these specs to talk about so let's take a deep dive and check out the map on foot and walk around all of the primary areas on the map that way you could see the pure beauty and details the black sheet modding intended to make this map one of the best yet oh yeah and by the way i make mod review videos and map tours every time we get something neat and interesting like this so get subscribed if you're new that way you never miss any future videos here on the channel our journey today is going to start right Right at field number one near the front of the farm. Right here, we've got some really neat rock areas. These are actually, I think, like stones, the small stones that you get in the fields. Well, they've used these to decorate the map, and it kind of makes it look dirty, but in the best way possible. If you guys have played any iteration of this map previously, you're going to see a lot of things that look the same look normal you've got a couple different ways into your main farm you've got a really nice gate right here all the way at the end of the little dirt path your primary entrance into the farm is a huge archway leading into one of our sheds which is super cool and of course we've got a couple different areas right here if you want to possibly put in some smaller equipment maybe a truck which by the way we get one if you're in new farmer mode coming around through here We've also got a massive pull through area where you can locate the shop area in or outside your farm if you really want to. Plus, we've got kind of just a drive through area right here. This would be good for combine harvesters, things like that, ready to be pulled out through the main farm. How neat is that? Also, uh, look at the detail on that. That's insane, way insane. Even all the way up on that, a little bit less up, that's okay. So let's come through here. Maybe we should start here because I want to show you we have a house. So right here is where we could change our clothing, which is super cool. Over here by this door, we've got our sleep trigger. Now you can at least, yeah, there we go. You can clip through the door just by walking into it. It's not gonna cause you a bunch of problems. Just be aware of it. And of course, right here is our uh, setup, just right there. And as you can see, we have all of our animals on the map and they're based right here on the main farm. Cows, chickens, pigs, and sheep. Again, our silo is located right in here. Of course, I showed you the house and you've seen the vehicle workshop. It's pretty standard, but the more you start walking around, the more you realize that there's little details around. There's seasons and mirrors, things like that. The, the sheep pasture looks like a shed from the very front, but when you come in, you re realize, oh, this is where all of the, uh, the, the wool spawns and this is where I feed the, the sheep and I can actually drive into the sheep pasture through there if I want to and feed them over there. But if I don't want to do that, I can go over here. 
How neat is that? It plays well. Small, medium equipment. You're good to go. Massive silage or silage silo area. You've got the dump and the fill at the exact same spot. They are known for doing this in a lot of their maps. Basically, every black sheep body map that I can remember does that. We've got some more sheds around here. Just basic sheds sitting around doing their thing. So some areas around here. The pig pasture may be one of my favorite because we've got an area right here around to the side where you could park some larger equipment. We've got a way in through the back. You got a place for your, your slurry there. Over here, I believe straw. Food goes through the front as such. Yeah, and we're out again. You could also open this up all the way if you really want to. You could buy your pigs right here, 60 pigs. Uh, again, you're not gonna be using a lot of massive equipment on here. The fields are not large, so you don't expect to get a lot out of your crop return. So that's why the animal or the animals are a little bit lower. By the way, let's walk over here and take a look and see what we get on our sheep. Let's see, triggers right here. I'm trying to do this in one cut that we can kind of get an idea of where we're at. So 100 sheep, that's gonna be more than enough to get plenty of wool every day. You're probably gonna get, you know, between three and five wool pallets every day as long as those uh, sheep are ready to go and good. That's nice. Plenty of storage. One thing about black sheep modding, plenty of storage all the time. If I remember correctly, I thought maybe there was a closed door here before, but, uh, plenty of room in here you can park your header and your combine harvester we do start with the smallest one a new farmer but that is totally cool and of course we have a massive area right here for our cows if you see a door there's about a 98 percent chance that it's gonna open they have added openable doors to pretty much everything you can see right here this goes just far enough where you can keep it open and you are good cannot close that one though because that's where the cows go in and out of course, we can open this one. We can even open the one down here too. One neat thing, it, it serves zero purpose, by the way, this, this next part, zero purpose. How about that? Are both of these tied together? They are tied together. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty sweet. So whenever you're coming in here to take care of your cattle, open one and they both close. All right, yeah, I'll take that, I'll take that. This is a neat one right here. So you can open this door and you go in, this is where you get your milk from, but you can go in here and kind of monitor the cattle. You can take a look at your Hormon uh, piece right there. You can even open this door. Now you can't open this gate for whatever reason, but this does allow you kind of in here to, I don't know, monitor, do whatever you want to. It's it's a, a really open role play style kind of thing on the main farm. It's pretty cool. And of course, we have three silage bunkers. You've got your largest one right there. And then we have two, which I think maybe they're about the same size right here. Maybe if we go up into the air, we could take a look. Yeah, I think they're about the same, all three of them. So you can make a ton of silage. Of course, you've got all your farms around here. There's your cattle pasture farming simulator 19. This was uh, two cattle pastures. Well, they have combined them together to make them only one. I feel like before as well, you could have like, I think it was a thousand cows on here, something like that. It was a lot. Well, let's take a look and see how many we can get this time around. 150 head of cattle. That's more than enough. I'll probably mod this to hold 500, but that's beside the point. Otherwise, that's pretty much your main farm, guys. I say there's not a lot to it. There's a ton. There's a ton to it. And I probably missed something as well. I didn't even mean to. But this is going to be a lot of fun to play around with. Next, let's go take a look at the vehicle shop. Now, that has moved. And it's super close to our main farm as well. Beforehand, it was down in here. Like, almost now, now where, like, the BGA is or, or the sawmill. Well, it is now right here, the vehicle shop. So... Kind of a hop, skip, and a jump right over there. All you gotta do is take a left out of your main farm, take a right on the first road, and it's right up here. And if I remember correctly, it looks similar to what we had before. But it does look like they've done a lot of changes to it. Let's go and fall to the ground and head into the shop and take a look and see what we got. We got some cool stuff right through here. So a lot of decorations, a lot of designs in here. Cody's. Shroar? Shroar? Anyway, you can buy all your stuff that you need to there. We come around here. This is where we've got our repair bay. 
and it does look like you can pull things in here as well now i have seen a couple players saying that they've brought equipment in and it's been <laughs> well left up here's the thing when you bring your stuff in and you put it up on these lifts and you drop it down they're gonna stay up there because you moved the piece of equipment it's just it's just the way the giant's engine works. What you have to do, just get into your equipment, press the gas, press the brake, something like that, and the vehicle will drop back down, and you can use it normally. That's a very, very normal thing. Uh, but the great thing is, too, here, if you want to role play as a mechanic, you could do that as well. Look at this. You have two working lifts on here. Not one, but two. Doesn't look like that door opens, but that's okay. Let's kind of poke around in here and see what else we've got. So we have a lot of storage. This is an area that means nothing. This doesn't have to be here. And most modders would have just blocked this off. They wouldn't have even allowed you inside. Probably would have put in the, uh, the, the cube right here at the front. And that was where everything would be. But nope. Not black sheep modding. This, this is how they've done the main store. And that's pretty epic. Plus, the great thing is... It's not far away from your main farm. Now, I have mentioned sell points, so I think it's important to show you guys where a couple of these are. There's two different kind of signs that you're going to see when you've got sell points. So if we come down in here, you can see, well, we've got our grain mail. Not too bad. A boo boo or grain elevator. I apologize. Now, it looked like it was showing two, uh, two things there. Almost. It looks like maybe there's one behind it if we can load in and maybe look around but i'm not seeing any other thing i thought at one point perhaps that this would be a production plant but it doesn't appear to be so usually production plants they will have an additional uh, yeah or a little blue marker sign around them but i'm not seeing anything like that so i think this is just a regular grain elevator cell point type of place yeah, by the way, you do have a working scale on here, which is super cool. But that's going to be at the top right-hand corner of the map. There are two ways to get in. You can either go through this road right here, or you can go through this road right here. If you look at this area, you can see the stripes going through this. This is areas where you cannot access. So just a heads up, there's a lot of areas around these that are striped where you're unable to access those. It's kind of neat. There's like, you have to go under a bridge, but you can't go over the bridge in different areas. It's all right. It's all right. I like that. We've also got two different uh, train stops and we've got train elevator. So uh, you've got one stop there, one stop here whenever they come in and out. The train does travel around. Let's see if we could find it. Yeah, right here it is. So let's see if I can go here and we can see our train come by. I'm glad we were able to catch that. So here's your train. You can rent it just like normal. Boom, 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 boom. Looks like it's our European train. Of course, this is a fictional European map. And there you go. They're going to follow this track all the way down, all the way around. We've got one more rent train stop area there. And then it goes straight into the sell point and it will automatically sell. So just heads up there. The train works like that. Uh, my least favorite way for a train to work. I would just like to drive it when I want to. But Looks like a Farming Simulator 22. That's not the way things are anymore. We take a look at this. This is actually our, uh, well, it's our bakery, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is our first stop on our kind of sell points tour. We've just got our normal bakery on here. Nothing out of the ordinary, nothing weird. But here's the thing. You will need to buy this. So when you go over here, we can buy the bakery for $50,000. I think they've done a really good job of placing the base game bakery on here. I think it looks really, really good. But you could use this as a normal sell point if you don't want to buy it, which I love. Comston Farm didn't include anything like this. And it's kind of not the downfall, but a lot of people are irritated because they can't sell everything that they want to. They have to build their own stuff. And if you're like me, you just want to jump on a map and play. You really don't have to build anything. And this map allows you to do that. As I mentioned, there's a lot of these. So if we go in, we see another factory point right here. We've got our dairy right there, the tailor shop, great processing unit, spinnery. If we come around through here, we've got the sugar mill. This is our BGA. We'll go ahead and buy this. Boom. Now we've got the BGA as part of that as well. Speaking of, the BGA is a really, really neat area. Check this out. Yes, sir. It's nice and compact, which is good. 
We've got kind of uh, overfill area, so you've got places to do plenty of silage work if that's what you're wanting to do. We've got a way in through the top. We've got a way in through the bottom. Way stations on both of those. Your digesters located right here. And, of course, we've got everything else through there. You have your uh, drop point, I believe, for slurry. You got your drop point, I believe, for digestate. Pick that up. If we come back down to, <laughs> to the ground, we come right here. And we could take a look at our production chain and everything that we're getting out of it. There's not a whole lot more to the BGA. You guys know how they work, but it is nice to see that we have one and you have to buy it separately. It doesn't just come with it. We do have other uh, cell points as well. Of course, the biomass heating plant, the debris crusher. We have a lime station on here. We do include sawmill and carpentry. Of course, you've got, I think, three different rent train points. Oh, speaking of the train, there it is again. So uh, there's a lot of spots around there. The bottom left-hand corner of the map is going to bring you to, like, your animal dealer. You've also got an animal dealer cell point as well. Uh, bells, things like that. So that is cool to see. Our grain mill is down here as well. This is probably, ooh, boy. You know what? Let's go here. Let's uh, check and see what we've got. Yeah, all that's looking good. So we actually have our grain mill down here as well, which is probably one that you guys are going to be purchasing. We come around. Look good, look good. Actually, purchasing. Can we? Yes, we can. But I don't know where. It's not that. That's the rent train. Possibly around here. Maybe? Negative. Huh. I, oh, here it is. I just went overpassed it. So 96,000 for the grain mill. Uh, this will very likely be the first one that you guys purchase. So uh, that's what it's going to cost through there. Everything else, you've got all your fields located in good positions. I did mention that there's areas that you could buy that are not farmlands. You can sell the outside of the map for zero dollars, but there's no point that you would want to. This area is kind of interesting. Let's go to the rent train. We're going to figure out where we are. So we need to turn 180 degrees. All right. How am I going to get out of here? Ooh, I got an idea. <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. So there's an area right here. Check this out. It's big. It's open. It's got a landing pad so you can build your farm. Or maybe if you want to put down a uh, field, something right there. You possibly can. It's drawn in dirt. I think maybe this was put like this for them to put a field here, but they got to 60 and, you know, what sounds better? 60 fields or 61? So they've made this a buildable area. If you really want to, you could probably come in here to build mode. We could go to landscape, go to, uh, uh, was it sculpting, flatten, level rather, square, square it off, and then just flatten this whole area out and then smooth the outside edges around down near the train. And boom, you got yourself a farmyard. You could build this. It's got a little little road around it. Just doesn't go straight to the road. Feels lived in. It's. I mean, I keep saying it's nice. It's awesome. I give you all of these adjectives. At the end of the day, this is really really cool farm. Uh, we've got a couple other areas around as well for farmyards. For example, this area right here can be purchased. If we hop over, we've got this area here which can be purchased. As a matter of fact, it almost looks like it's got a horse riding area. I'm going to buy this real quick just to see if anything pops up, but I don't think we have horses on the map. I was mistaken. Check that out. So we purchased this area. Now all of these things kind of come to life. Can we sell it? We can. And they all just disappear. So you can use this if you want. You don't have to use it if you don't want. Okay. How neat is that? Uh, so you will, <laughs> so you'll find little areas around like that. For example, we've got another farmyard over here. Use it if you want to. Don't use it if you don't want to. It does have a great processing unit on the land itself. So purchase that. Now we have access to these sh uh, sheds and things like that. Uh, one thing that I am interested in. Let's go ahead and sell that. We'll do a little bit of a test here on stream with you guys. Can we open these sheds without owning the land? Do the sheds even open? I think might be the biggest question here. Let's buy the land and find out. All right, so they just don't open regardless. But you've got those areas around where you can 
buy to build your own farm if you don't want that main area and you don't have to use it. No one's forcing you to. Looks like we've got another one right here. Let's just go to our bakery real quick and pop over and see where exactly it is. Okay, so this is our area. Ooh, boing. This is our area right here. We've got another just farmyard. Open up. So it looks like we do not have to own this land in order to use those. That's nice to see. If I remember correctly in Farming Simulator, oh goodness, was it 17 or 19? I believe this farm was used as a secondary home location. We had a sleep trigger and everything here, but looks like that has been removed. Very cool. And it's right across the road from the shop. So this may be an area that you want to look into. If you're doing uh, start from scratch, 20 grand, not terrible. That's not going to take a lot of your 1.2 mil. Not bad, not bad at all. So basically from here, it's what do you want to do? Do you want to do logging? Yes, you plenty of areas to do logging. Do you want to do arable farming? Perfect. Do you want to have animals? Well, you've got access to all of the animals. It's allowing you to do what you want to do. Smaller fields. One thing we haven't really taken a look at is the fields. Do you want square? Sure. Oh, there you go. Square fields through here. Square fields through there. Not as square, but it's lined up fairly decently. And even at your main farm. These main farm fields, pretty squared off. Got a little, you know, a little, little fun area right there. But everything's pretty squared off. All said and done anyway. Do however you want to. You don't want it? Hey, here, there's still 30, 31. That's a little funky. How's about 51? That's a fun shape. So you've got all kinds of different stuff here. The good thing is smaller fields. You don't have to really worry about a whole lot. You're going to get out in the field. You don't need massive equipment. You don't think you can get a massive equipment around this farm anyway. Use normal, medium sized equipment and you're going to be totally fine. And lastly, on our journey today, let's take a look at what we get. If you start a new farmer, what are you going to be able to use? Well, we've got our Fent Favorite 511. This is going to have a 115 horsepower engine, so you've got room to grow there. You've also got the John Deere 7810. This has, uh, I think it's 175 horsepower in there, so not too bad. You do have your Deuce Far Top Liner, which includes the header and the header trailer for that. We do have a Schaefer Front Loader. I think this is pretty sweet. 25 horsepower. Not a lot to it. It's not the electric version. It's just the normal one. So rock and roll, have some fun. We get the new pickup truck, so we get a little something new with it. Class carrot, so you've got a tipper trailer if you want to rock that as well. Plows, uh, yeah, you're probably going to want to get a new one. Uh, this being a black sheep mining map, I highly recommend that you go get the 6 or 9 MT, probably the 6. you got a 3 meter cultivator on here as well. Uh, cedar, those are stuff that you're used to in new farmer mode in uh, the main base map, so you're fine there. We do have the all but tipper, 1,000 liters. That's going to be on your front loader. Honestly, if you're like me, you're probably going to sell that front loader right off the bat because no use for it, at least for my farming style. So there is that. And, of course, you got your John Deere pickup and the uh, MG600. One thing before we take up, oh yeah, by the way, here's this. It is tiny with a big tipper. Check this out. Boop. <laughs> I just think that's awesome. That's where you feed your chickens and your eggs pop up on this shelf right here. You can buy them, 150 chickens, not too bad at all. I tell you what, this is an absolutely beautiful, gorgeous map. A lot of fun things to do. A lot of exciting opportunities for smaller farming, for old school farming, to just sit back and have fun playing Farming Simulator. I myself even am so just what's what's the word guilty of trying to do things fast and farm quickly and make the most amount of money as possible and with this map i don't think that's the thing i don't think that's the goal this map wants you to have fun playing farming simulator it wants you to enjoy the beauty of the equipment and it wants you to enjoy the beauty of the scenery that's why i recorded this video in 4k you guys, I wanted you to see what I'm seeing on my end, and I hope that you have, and I hope that this video helped you, or maybe got you excited to play this map, or showed you something new or different that you didn't know was part of this map that gets you excited about playing Farming Simulator, and if this video helped prove to you that you don't want to play this map, well, hey, 
it was beneficial there as well, I guess. However, this video made you feel, I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, drop a like on it, get subscribed if you're new around here. Join the Gohan Fam channel members. I do release videos early for channel members, let's plays, things like that. So check out uh, the memberships. It's $4.99 for everybody. No S tier, no bottom tier. It's just one channel member for everybody. We also have a Discord for you guys as well that is totally for channel members only. It's really cool. All being said, Enjoy the video, do all the things, uh, what, notification bells, did I say that? Yeah, turn those on, that's for the uh, algorithm. Otherwise, hope you have a great, awesome day, and we'll see you later. Peace!